boom, 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 boom. Hey, y'all. Let me turn this up. Every time with the sniffing of the nose, honestly, the sound of me is in my picture. <laughs> oh, my nap now, you see it? I got that from Amsterdam and I went on a trip with my cousin. Oh, God, that, that trip there, oh. You know me. You know me. You know me. You know how I am. <laughs> you know how that trip ended. It was fun, though. I went there on a plane, came back on a coach, and I got to see the whole of Amsterdam. It was really nice. Is that's when I realised, yeah, everywhere is the same. Royals, you see an Audi in Wales. I'm like, oh, look, there's Tesco. Say nothing. Everywhere is just the same. Oh, I came live here yeah, to say something, but now I forgot what I wanted to say. Click on it. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the donations, everybody. Thank you. I mean, you'll see my followers go up and down, right? because some people just unfollow some people I just take off because I'm a person if you're going to be following each other I feel like you meant to interact with each other like that and obviously I see their posts in it so if they've got followers I don't really watch how much followers they have but I'm like okay so you've got 34 likes yeah on your post that's fine isn't it but if you're not liking not one of my posts, you have to come off. I'm sorry. So most of the people that I have as followers now, the actual business people that run a business, that are probably very busy and that probably doesn't sit down on Instagram. They just use their Instagram for to show their, showcase their business, right? So that's fine with me. I don't mind that. And some of them, I just like their pictures, isn't it? But... I've taken a lot of people off because they're just the interaction's not there and it's I don't know, I don't, I don't like to it's long isn't it? It's long. Do your thirty four likes and my pictures can't even get five likes. I'm like something going on here. Something going on here. So I'd just rather not have fifty, sixty followers that are not following me. <laughs> Do you get it? Like you're not following me. Like, you're not following me. That's what it says, followers, isn't it? So you meant to follow me and like my posts and that. Like, like these videos that I do, you don't have to like them. Because most of the time I'm just being a nutter. And just saying what I feel like saying at the time. But... <sighs> I think I need to... I think it's um, my personality... The way it's set up people are like okay the more followers they have the more people will see their content right and i'm like the more followers i have the less likes i get <laughs> it's weird and i'm just like liking somebody's post gives them feedback on what more to do or what not to do commenting on people's posts actually gives them feedback and helps them i don't know i don't know, I don't know but... i'm just like no mm -mm. Mm -mm. And I go back here and I look at all my posts and I'm like, no one don't like it though. I'm like, I like it. So I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I don't care about what other people do. I'm just going to keep doing it, innit? Fuck it. Someone will like them, innit? I mean, what's better than likes is donations. Mm -hmm. Like, so I can... Or so we can, the Holy or Foundation team, so we can move things along faster, isn't it, and cook up. But I suppose <sighs> the fact that I'm getting any donations, I'm just very grateful for. I'm very grateful for that. Yeah, 
I'm grateful that people entered the competition. As you can see, I put up the um, posts of their avatars. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm well happy about that. Like, yeah, like I got dressed. Anyway, I posted on YouTube this morning because this year was moving nuts. But... So let me get up, get dressed. Okay. Life in the in an ADHD person's world or a person with avoidant personality disorder or a person with anxiety and panic attacks, yeah? Put your clothes out from the night before. Yeah. Before you... Like, even halfway through your day. Like, even now. What's the time? Okay, it's 10 to 11, 10 51, yeah? Now, pick out your clothes, what you're going to wear tomorrow. Yeah. And stick to it. I picked these out from yesterday, except for the t-shirt, but I picked out my clothes from yesterday for one less thing that I have to do today. And it worked, because I'm tired now. Like, I'm tired. I've only woke up at, like, 6 this morning, but I'm tired now because of trying to get this child to school, trying to... This part of my life, isn't it? So I'm tired now. So I'm just like, bro. Oh. To add trying to find something to wear this morning, that would have just been, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have got dressed. I would have avoided it. Yeah, I would have just avoided it because, like, even now, I'm meant to be doing some paperwork and I'm just avoiding it. <laughs> I'll just say chatting to y'all because I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that still. I'm in my picture room. This is my picture room. Can you see? Mm, my picture room. I got loads of pictures. Mm. I like this picture. I'm, such a, I'm really digressing it. I'm a digressor, bro. Can you see? Choo choo. I like that one. Mm. So. You look, the, the Leo Foundation team is growing also. It's growing, so I'm just like, wow. I feel like I want to put in my earrings. Wait, I'm going to get my earrings. So normally, when you give and donate to a charity, you don't really see the person or the people, you just see their their representatives, you don't see the founder and things like that, not very often. So, I think this is like, for me, um, this is very new, very innovative, innovative, well, I can't say the word, it's like, before it's time, do you see what I'm saying? So like, it's like... It's a community foundation, international community growth and development project. I'm not reading nothing. I'm literally trying to put my earring in. This is what it was, and this is what it's been from the start. The Lior Foundation International Community Growth and Development Project 2021 to 2025, and it's international, so... I do various different countries and continents. I chose to keep that quiet because I know more people using their few listeners to try to upset my team. But yeah, that's what's been going on. So the team is growing, it's very growing very fast. I'm trying to convince them to like do their own platform, let's sync it together, woo woo woo, but takes time, it just takes time, that's all it is, it just takes time. So, this is Bookie, the founder of the Leo Foundation, the creator 
of the International Community Growth and Development Project 2021 to 2025. This is me. So who do I need now? Guess who I need now? Admin. You, do you like filling out forms? Yeah, boy. If you like filling out forms, yeah, get at me, bro. If you like getting this money, like getting funding and all of that, get at me, bro. Because you see me? Hey. I've been struggling, oh. I've been struggling, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have been struggling, oh. Look here. It is. I can't do it. Do you like chatting to people, like making phone calls? Come, I need you. <laughs> I need you. I need you. I really need you. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's, what does the Leo Foundation need to move forward? I need you guys, bruh. You guys that like to fill out forms and chat enough on the phone and... You got the gift of the gap? Yeah, I need you too, bear. I need you too. Yeah, this foundation needs you. I don't even think I'm going to post this live, you know, but how long has it been? I don't know if I'm going to post it. I'll post it and leave it out for a couple of days and then take it down. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do in this post and take it down. The donations are coming in though, so I'm just like, the children are entering the competition, so I'm just like, get the children, get their parents, and listen, the next one is, yeah, um, they want to go go-karting, because I spoke to them and I said, so what, what is it that you want to do as a group, you know, they was like, go-karting, so I was like, okay. And I know you're like, why can't their parents pay? Where, where, where? And I'm like, look, just get some community spirit, please. Please. You know what their parents pay for? All of this stuff. Like, let's get some community spirit. Come on. Back in the day, the church used to run all of these kind of little functions. Yeah, now they've taken away the church. There's, the church is not there to run these functions. How do you know, Bookie? Because I used to go on them with my grandma, my nanny dice. Yeah. Because she slaps me, yeah. I don't want no duppy box. Yeah, my, my, my nanny dice used to take us on excursions with the church. Mm -hmm. And we don't get that no more. Even field trips at school, like going to the farm and that, where, where, where. So that, this is what I want to do for these children. These 14 year olds, 15 year olds, that, like that. They don't know about the economy. They don't understand about agriculture. They don't understand about how things work they don't understand that so is this age now like you're taking children to the farm at like seven eight we don't care about do that are we that's where that's sheep and that's cow that's what we eat we didn't even think we didn't care you know them sensitive ass kids this bit about it no don't want to eat the sheep man listen <laughs> we didn't care about that 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, they need to be going to the farm. They need to be understanding where their food comes from. And this is why I'm I'm advocating for them. You get it? Like, as a 14, 15-year-old, yeah, that's something that I needed to know. Do you get it? Bang. Okay, so from the farm to the shop, from the shop, it's economy. We need They, they need to know these things. And if nobody, the school ain't really trying to teach them. Parents are hard working, they ain't really got time. So this is where the community comes into it. This is where foundation and churches come into it. And because the church ain't really see it. I ain't trying to diss them or nothing here, but I'm saying I remember going seaside. I remember woo woo woo. Like I remember these things and up until the other day. Like France trips, going to France and all of these things there. So yeah, and certain of them things now from us at our age, as young parents, young carers, as young children, this is what we need to be teaching our children. Oh my God, I actually sat there with my hand like that. Ugh. This is what we need to be teaching them, so it's important. And as I said, parents are working, they haven't got time and they're tired. 
It's mad, it's mad, it's mad, it's mad. I spoke to the children up here and I'm like, what, you haven't seen the sea? <laughs> what? Are you... What? That's really, really... St There's a place up here called Hilltop here. And like, uh, say 2025 20, children. And I'm talking to these children. I'm like, well, you haven't seen the sea. You haven't been to the beach. That's mad. And I took one girl called Chloe to the um, Blackpool. And she was like, wow. Like, I'm saying, what the, you are... A, Big eighteen year old child, how can you not how can you not see the sea? From there I started to say, nah, that's mad, you know. <laughs> it's mad. It is mad. You you've not seen the sea. Like you've not been to the seaside. No, I had to take her real fast, still I had to take her in the car, just take her up there and be like, Yeah, look, this is the seaside better. So what are you saying? So yeah, I have a little you get me? A little rep up here. Still, I've got a little rep for, like, doing little things. But I'm saying, no, I want to make it a big, big thing. That's what I want to do. I want to take these 20 children to the beach and be like, this is the beach, guys. Now buy your fridge magnet and let's go. <laughs> That's what I want to do. So... That's what we want to do this summer. This summer, that's what we're trying to do. Go to the beach, Wales, even Western Supermare. That's where we're trying to get to. Western Supermare is where I'm trying to get these 20 children, yeah? Of course their parents are going to put in, yeah, right? But of course their parents are going to put in. But what about the people that can't afford it and all of these things there? I was that guy, you know, I couldn't afford it, bruv. I couldn't afford it. When I was in London, yeah, I just, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't afford it. My house was so much down. I used to pay out in trying to please my children and please myself, yeah, right? So I couldn't really afford it. No, mm -mm. I couldn't. And then I took my um, my last son to South, was it? No, South End, not South End. What is it? The end part, man, the end, the end of South, yeah, with the sea. And it cost me nearly £200. 